Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Color Cynixy. So today I'm going to be trying something that I have not tried before, and it is this amazing New Zealand pasture raised, which is actually a grass fed, grass finished, and milk fed veal liver, which is also known as calf liver. I once did a video before where I was trying beef liver before, which means that it came from a full grown cow. I did that with my girlfriend, if you haven't seen that, she really didn't like it. I got on with it really well, it was a really funny video. You can click the link up above to view that now. But yeah, I've never tried this. And to be honest, I will never buy full ground beef liver again. I don't dislike it all, but I know that when the liver comes from a younger animal, it's gonna be way cleaner, it's way more nutritionally rich as well and it's just way way better for us in so many different ways especially when it comes from pasture raised sources i would not recommend getting it from factory farm sources because they are fed things like corn and soy and grains and gmo foods that just give them a fatty liver and make the liver quite toxic and not very healthy at all and it's just not going to be as nutrient dense for you as well and there's a lot of issues with it. And I got this from a company called Paleo Robbie, which is in Thailand. If you're in Thailand and you'd like to buy some of the most highest quality animal foods, I've put a link for them down below and a discount code as well for you to use if you wish to use their company and buy from them. So alongside trying this, I'm also going to be talking about why anyone on any diet should ideally be having this in the diet. You don't have to have it every single day but it is one of the most nutrient dense foods in the world that you could get. And it's actually a whole food. And unlike a lot of these plant-based superfoods out there, it doesn't have any plant toxins in, which is really good. You haven't got to digest any cellulose, which we cannot actually break down because we don't have the digestive system to actually break down cellulose, which causes a lot of gut issues to people and a lot of health issues. So yeah, has that very strong liver smell. Smells actually very, very similar to the beef liver. And yeah, if you don't already know, liver, around 113 grams, which is around four ounces, has the micronutritional value equivalent of like with fruit and vegetables, 2.5 kilos of fruit and vegetables you need to get a similar amount of nutrition in when compared to four ounces of beef liver. But yeah, a lot of people are weeded out by this. I can understand why most people aren't used to eating organs. But yeah, if you're someone's got a lot of nutritional deficiencies, this is one of the best whole foods that are natural. Rather than these synthetic supplements that are not the best for you and normally cost a lot and yeah, are just not natural in any way, shape or form. So yeah, when I look at it, it doesn't look like the most appealing thing to me. I will admit that. And I eat in its raw state because when you start to cook it, it starts to smell even worse in my opinion. It doesn't appeal to me in any way shape or form. Huh. Very chewy. But compared to the beef liver, it breaks down a lot easier and mm, tastes very similar to the beef liver. But yeah, way, way easier to break down. The taste, I cannot describe it to you in any way, shape or form. But yeah, if you're someone that wants to get this into your body and you find that eating it raw like this or even cooked is too much for you, all you can actually do is what I've done in the past when I wasn't used to beef liver, which is you can cut off small amounts, as small as you need it to be, like there, and you can just go swallow it like you would with certain supplements out there that you might have taken in the past that you might be taking now. So that could be a solution for you if you find it hard to get in your body. But if you're someone that still finds that too much, you really don't like the texture and it's making you just like have a gag reflex, then I recommend getting the best beef liver supplement by Ancestral Supplements. I'll put a link down below for them and you can get that and consume that. So you've got a few different options there. And actually cutting it off 
actually makes it easier for me to chew it. Uh, yeah, it doesn't weird me out in any way, shape, or form. I was vegan for six years, and it's like, yeah, it's not something that's like, oh wow, the taste is absolutely amazing, but it's not disgusting to me at the same time. It's quite a slimy texture and consistency. And mm. um, when you compare it to fruits and vegetables, yeah, nutrition's way more in this compared to fruits and vegetables and you need much less to get as much nutrition as you would from a lot of fruits and vegetables but also the fruits and vegetables are also giving you plant toxins which you don't want in your body really and also the beef liver has things like cholesterol in which is the precursor for every other hormone to be produced within the body you cannot find that in plant foods and also like in most plant foods, so like grains, nuts, seeds, beans, legumes, it has phytates in. And what do phytates do? Bind to the minerals so you cannot absorb them. But there's no phytates in it. So you're going to absorb pretty much everything that is within this. So yeah, if you're someone that's been on a malnourishing diet for so long, where it's a vegan diet, some other malnourishing diet, like a standard American diet. Start consuming beef liver. But yeah, even though I'm not weirded out by it, trying to eat a lot of this in one sitting can take quite a while because I like to really chew it down and really break it down. So if I just want to get it down me as quickly as possible, I can get this liver down me very, very quickly if I just put it in my mouth and swallow it. And yeah, it's very rich in zinc selenium, vitamin A, many other different vitamins such as vitamin B12. The, the list of micronutrients within this is just so broad. And it's something that we would have definitely consumed in our natural environment. Hmm, I'm fine, as this is going on, I'm finding it more and more appealing. When you're the vegans are going to be freaking out about this one. But to be honest, I want to make this video because there's a lot of people that are not thriving on the vegan diet. And if they need to eat things like this and an animal's life needs to be ended for them to regain their health so they can have the best human experience possible, then so be it. It's just the way it goes. Like a lion doesn't feel bad when it eats any animal. It does what it needs to do because it needs to survive and actually thrive. Rather than sound a vegan diet and just completely just survive and not thrive in any way, shape or form. So yeah, do your research into beef liver and whites are good for you because you can find a lot more information on this subject than what I've just talked about in this video. I say it's not something you need to consume on an everyday basis. You consume it like once a week, once every two weeks. Um, it's not essential that you consume it on any diet, even if it's a carnivore diet. But, like I said, if you're someone that's got some serious nutritional deficiencies and you really need to boost up your mineral and vitamin intake, to correct them then this would be definitely one of the best ways to go mm. I actually like the texture as well so yeah I'm going to end it there I will continue eating it but there's not much else that I feel I need to talk about in this video so if you like the video, like it down below. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see me upload on this channel. Don't forget to share and subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.